You know what's the hardest thing about change is the people that you used to know will always look at you that you're doing something wrong, even though you're changing for the better. But they knew a version of you that was compatible with them. So they don't accept that you are outgrowing them. So they will try to mock you, make fun of you. They will try to always make the things that you do look stupid. They will try to convince you that everything that you do is not the right thing. And this is not because they hate you, but they hate themselves to the point that they are not accepting that someone can be better than them. They cannot accept that you are growing and you are getting better. That's why some people get stuck when they talk to the person that they used to love or anything like that because that person used to a version of you that is no longer available. And this is something that make a lot of people question themselves. Am I doing the right thing or not? So you actually decided to do something. You started to take action on it because it was required to do so. And then you meet these people and you feel like, am I wrong or they are wrong? Because you don't know which is right from which is wrong because you don't have the results yet that will speak for you. And this keeps you stuck a little bit in the questioning cycle. Every day you do the thing, you, you didn't see the results yet, but you still feel like you gotta keep going. But at the same time, the people around you are pushing you down. They are trying to manipulate you to think that you are wrong and they are right. They want you to live an ordinary life. And nothing wrong with that, but you were born to be extraordinary. You are not an ordinary person at all. And I believe in you. And I believe in myself. I'm doing these videos and I always think, I always think that someone out there is having these thoughts and it's resonating with them. This is the thing that always keeps me pushing these videos out. Because when I was younger, when I was in my teenage years, when I was a teenager, I always wanted a, a person that can tell me that these things are normal. Feeling a bit frustrated, feeling a bit down, feeling like you, nobody is supporting you, feeling like you are losing again and again and again. No results yet. You don't see it anywhere. You are searching for it, but still nothing there. But I'm here to tell you in one moment, in one day, overnight, everything can change for the better. I remember when I was in college, one time I was just struggling to pass a certain exam. And all of a sudden I did my best, but nothing was changing. I was actually studying a lot. Then I go to maybe solve some things and they always were wrong. And one day I slept, the exam was the next day, I slept, I completely surrendered. I'm not surrendering control. I'm surrendering, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not surrendering to the circumstances, I mean. I just surrendered knowing that I did my best. Knowing that I left no stone unturned. And when I did that, believe it or not, I went to the exam, I did very good, I got a good grade, and that, exact subject was one of these subjects that I got an A plus in. So everyone was amazed because they knew at that time that I wasn't good at that subject. And they were actually trying to bring me down. Oh, you don't understand this. Oh, don't try. Just try to pass it. And for a period of time, I started to believe that. This is why it's so important. If you want to repeat something, repeat positive affirmation, not negative ones, because your subconscious mind doesn't separate. If you feel something to be true, it will happen. So when I surrendered, I felt the calmness, the, I don't know how it feels, but I don't know how to say it. I feel like it was something very peaceful, 
that I did my best. I did all I can. And from that moment, from this unique moment, I felt maybe if I go tomorrow to the exam, I went the next day and I passed it with an A+, plus, an ace. This is how sometimes the world works. The world works in mysterious ways. And I told you before, assuming things into being, stay in a positive state and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. If you want to make videos in front of the people in the streets, do it. I'm doing it right now. People are looking me right and left. I don't care. If you want to do something, don't listen to people. If you have a plan in mind, do it. Do it. Stop looking for validation from other people. Stop. They are not you. They are not thinking like you. God puts an idea in your head for a reason. He doesn't put all these ideas just for you to look at them and, you know, say, wow, that's a good idea. And just leave it passing away in front of your eyes. Don't do that. Start to take action on the things that you like. Act on your highest passion. And I told you before, when you do something that you love, three hours would pass and you would look in your watch. Oh, wow, only 15 minutes has passed in my time doing that. I felt like 15 minutes has passed. But in reality, three hours passed and you didn't feel that. You know how, how many hours you aged in these three hours? 15. The ones that you feel like I spent 15 times drawing. Oh, it was three hours. Because when you do what you love, you will age slowly. It's an anti-aging thing when you do the right thing that you love. So whether it's creating content, whether it's studying, whether it's researching, whether it's drawing, I love drawing. Sometimes when I draw, I spend like five hours and I feel like I only spent 15 minutes and people think I'm crazy, but it's not crazy because you are acting on your highest passion. You are optimistic about it. Stay in a positive state. I'm telling you guys, negativity is so infectious. Negative people are so infectious. Stay away from them. Only hi, hello, how are you doing? And just keep moving on. Don't get stuck with negative people. They will drain you down. They are vampires of energy. And let me tell you something. When you are positive, you will attract positive. Positive people, positive circumstances, positive relationships. For those that want a good relationship, focus on yourself and love yourself. And as a reflection, when you love yourself, your inner world reflects. Your outer world, sorry, reflects on what's inside. So you are the projector. You are in the cinema, in the movies, and you are looking at the screen. Is the screen getting the movie? You get the movie from the screen or from the projector? You are the projector. This world, this 3D hologram, this is the screen. Change the projector, you change the screen. Like on television, when you are watching a TV program, you know that there are many TV programs that are running at the same time. What you can do is, when you don't like that program, you change it. You take the remote control and you change it. You don't just go and insult everything and the television and the screen. No, take the remote control, bam. How you do that? You change your frequency. How you change your frequency? You change your inner state. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and your inner state dictates and will reflect what you really want in your outer world. Will project, sorry. You will see it in your outer world. So change what's inside and what's outside will change. The only real change comes from inside. That's it for today.